Hey guys, we are going to do the prime factorization of 420. Now, what does prime factorization mean? Well, here's an example. The prime factorization of 100 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Those are the prime numbers that multiply to each other to give me 100, okay? So to find this out, we just break this number down slowly, okay? So I'm going to think of two numbers that I know multiply to give me 420, okay? So I notice that uh, 10 times 42 gives me 420, okay? Now, if you thought of two different numbers that give you 420, as long as you keep breaking it down, we're going to end up at the same answer, okay? Um, and I'll, I'll link an example of where I show that in another video, okay? So when we are doing prime factorization, once you get to a prime number, you circle it, okay? Now, if you're like, you've said the word prime like 40 times and I don't know what that means. A prime number means only, the only numbers that go into that number are one and itself, okay? So two is a prime number because one times two gives me two, but no other two numbers multiplied by each other, whole numbers multiplied by each other give me two, right? So neither of these are prime numbers because more numbers go into them, right? So I can break down 10 into two times five, okay? Now two is prime because one times two gives me two and nothing else, right? And five is prime because one times five gives me five and nothing else, okay? All right, now 42 we're gonna break down. So I know that six times seven gives me 42. And seven is prime, right? And then six is not. Six can be broken down into two times three, okay? And two and three are both prime, okay? Now I wanna write this out. We like to do it um, like smallest to biggest. So two times two, there's those two, times three, times five, times seven, okay? That is the prime factorization. And you can always check yourself, plug this into the calculator, make sure you get 420, okay? Hopefully that made sense, bye!